Hey guys, Script here with another video, and I don't normally cover this type of particular thing. I mean, I kind of do, but I kind of don't, but I, I thought this was so ludicrous that I had to cover it. And this is, um, this has to do with Amanda Stenberg on the Kiki Palmer podcast. I'm going to say what some other people have, have touched on this, and I'm going to say what everybody needs to say, even though they're not saying it. Even though they're saying she's stupid, they're not saying the real thing that they should be saying. And it kind of reflects, like, this big problem in the United States. So let's just hear what she has to say. And this it, this just shows you where these people are coming from with the acolyte as well. <laughs> it's just... So anyways, just listen to what she says. It's so dumb. And then, um, yeah, I'll give my take and whatever. I was not fully cognizant of Hollywood as a white institution. You know, I think it took me into, I mean, I was aware in terms of the direct experiences I had, you know, being the white. <laughs> wait, 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 I was not fully cognizant of Hollywood as a white institution, a white institution. First of all, um, as others have, have also prognosticated, the United States is a majority white country. And I've said this before. If you, if I, as a white guy, for example, if I moved to India and I made it into Bollywood, for me to sit there and say that I'm in a Indian-run institution in a in a tone as if it's sort of somewhat of a bad thing, I'd be looked at like I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> like, and I just want to say, like, demographically, okay. So I think I think the black folks make up, and when I say black folks, I mean, and this goes, to, this is going to go to my my biggest point of this whole video if you have any amount of melanin in your your black in america it's this weird thing it's not like that in other places trevor noah talked about how you know he grew up in apartheid south africa he was mixed he said obama is mixed he's not black he's half white half black it's like this huge issue where it's like any amount of any amount of melanin in your black and it's like <laughs> so like they had that theater thing was that in, in new york or whatever where they were only going to allow black people in and so I tweeted, I was like, so what's the percentage? Like, what if you're like 29% black? Are you allowed in? Or is that not black enough? Like, it's so stupid. And then we had that one that one YouTuber who got her DNA checked. And she was all excited to find out how black she was. And then she found out she was like 75% white European. And she almost cried. She almost bawled her eyes out. Like, that's insane. Like, what is wrong with people? And so they're just so focused on this. And so so I think I think... Black people, and, and I don't even know if that means like fifty, like how many of them are 100% black and how many of them are in varying degrees of percentages, make up, what, 16, 17% of America? Okay, I'd like somebody, somebody out there in the ether, because I'm not doing it. Somebody out there in the ether calculate how many Hollywood actors are black. Because I have a feeling it's probably more than 17%. But if it was 17%, that would be in line. That would be okay. That doesn't make America racist. But I bet you it's more. Especially right now, I bet you it's a lot more than that. Young people that are listening to this, I want you to understand, like, when I was growing up, we had the Cosby Show. We had Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. We had Family Matters. We had In Living Color. Like, In Living Color was a, was a comedy sketch show with a whole bunch of black people and Jim Carrey. And no one cared. No one said anything. We've had black entertainment television. It's, the black people have not been marginalized in Hollywood. They just haven't statistically. And if you go back even further, there were very popular black actors and actresses going back even to the 50s and 60s. I just don't understand this revisionist history that Disney is trying to say that they're the ones that are, you know, have, have, have broke through the barrier of race or some stupid thing. It's ridiculous. So anyways, yeah. Hollywood is mostly white people because Hollywood, uh, because America was mostly white. And when Hollywood was was first made, I mean, uh, to be fair, all the studios were actually started by Jewish people. I don't know if you know some Jewish people consider themselves white and some don't. Some just say they're Jewish. But back in the twenties, the country was almost totally white. There was hardly anyone else. So what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? And the other side of this too that really bugs me is there's some really, 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 really rich black people out there. And it made me mad, like, when Kalib Twelly said that, you know, it's 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 the white man's fault that, you know, black rappers were rapping about negative things, and, you know, how can you blame black guys? Dude, they were rapping about what they were rapping about. It was a free country. And two, Death Row Records was run by Suge Knight, who's a black guy. 
And they were like, they started the big move towards, you know, gangster rap. So if you're going to say that gangster rap was negatively influencing the black community, Suge Knight, who's black, is a huge part of that. So you can't, this whole thing where it's just like, it's, it's just so weird. It's like people don't know anything about like history or like basic stuff. But it, this gets better. That, that's one side of it, guys. But this gets way better because Amanda has an issue here because she's saying a lot of stuff. But she's got a problem. A little brown girl and only getting particular kind of kinds of role submissions or, you know, experiencing racism in different ways or whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. A little brown girl. Okay. So first of all, let's take a look. And she said she was getting, oh, I was only getting certain roles. And oh, I was only getting certain roles. Okay. Let's see what roles you got, Amanda. Let's, let's. Let's see what Amandla Stenberg's filmography is. Poor Amandla. Oh, poor Amandla. She hasn't gotten any roles. It's so sad. I feel so bad for her. This poor girl who's, who, you know, she only got certain roles because of her brown skin. Let's see what movie she's been in. Okay, so this is her, her filmography. Amandla is 25 years old. So I want everybody out there to understand how old most actors are when they make it. So most actors don't even make it until they're well into their 30s and 40s. For the vast majority of actors that, for example, would be getting their own show, it is extremely rare for somebody to make it big when they're young. It's very rare. There are, there are people that have, don't get me wrong, but the vast majority of actors you see on television, movies, most of them were a lot older. I mean, that's why Harrison, Harrison Ford didn't make it until he was in his mid-30s. That's reality. So this, this person, like, look at this. She was in Columbiana. She was in The Hunger Games. She was in Mercy. She was in Rio 2. She was in As You Are. She was in Everything, Everything. She was in Darkest Minds. The Hate You Give. Where Hands Touch. This is just movies. Dear Evan Hansen, Bodies, 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 My Animal, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Wildwood. She's 25. She's been in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 movies, okay, at 25 years old. She's been in, for television, A Taste of Romance, Sleepy Hollow, Mr. Robinson, Neo Nokio, Drunk History, Gaslight, The Eddie, Zoo, RuPaul's Drag Race, RuPaul's Drag Race, the Acolyte. She has her own show, The Acolyte, at 25 years old. You know how many actors in Hollywood that are that, that, that didn't make it till they were 40 years old would be like st- would have been stunned to get their own show, let alone a Star Wars show, at 25 years old? So what? That's 11 movies and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine television appearances and a music video with Beyonce at at, at 25. So 20, 20 appearances, including blockbusters like The Hunger Games, at 25 years old. And she's complaining about the whiteness in Hollywood. And her, her poor little brown self would only get certain roles. This is insanity. What is wrong with these people? But this is the, other, this is the, big, this is the big one. And this goes back to my earlier point about sort of how the United States views any amount of blackness in someone's skin as black. Amandla Stenberg. Her dad is from Norway. He's white. He's white. So she's sitting here bashing the fact or 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 or, or sort of you know looking down on the fact that, that Hollywood is 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 sort of white controlled or whatever she's saying, or it's just a lot of white people. Her dad is white! <laughs> And we've seen this with a lot of like celebrities like that aren't that are like that have white parents and they bash white people like remember Colin Kaepernick he's taking a knee and bashing you know the United States the dude was adopted by rich white people he got to go to the best schools when he was a kid and he's complaining about racist America. You have white, you, you were adopted by, by white people who, who took you in, gave you a life. They're very wealthy. You had, all, you had more privileges than 99% of white people. And he's bitching about w- w- uh, America being racist. Amanda, St- Amanda, sorry, not Amanda, Amanda Stenberg is complaining about 
not getting enough roles and she's 25 and has been in 20 things including her own frigging star wars show and talking about how white centric hollywood is i'm a little poor little brown girl you're half white your dad is white what are you talking about if trevor noah met you he'd say no you're not black you're mixed i'm not black i'm mixed obama's not black he's mixed why are you black because you're half white you're half you're mixed who cares you're whatever it doesn't matter it's just like that youtuber that chick that thought she was black because her skin was kind of brown and she was 75 percent white why don't you get over it move on why don't you be grateful why don't you say thank you um hollywood and 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 thank you for my career and i'm 25 and i've already made millions of dollars and have my own show and thank you no it's these white people oh the whiteness Oh, like the showrunners Leslie Leslie Headland and she hired you. She's white. What are you talking about? Anyways, all that to say, the acolyte is going to be an absolute garbage show. This is the mentality of these people, and if this is the mentality of these people, this is the way they're going. They're they're going in ungrateful. When you're going into a project like this, ungrateful, and and think of the amount of Star Wars fans that if if some think about some brown chick that likes star wars or half white half black chick that likes star wars that loves it that would if they approached her that was a real fan that would just be so grateful to be in a star wars project but here's amanda stenberg oh there's yeah there's a lot of white people in hollywood oh, oh just like my dad like paid for my life and gave me such a good life oh my dad Ugh. i will be reviewing this absolute garbage show with these garbage people that are totally ridiculous and contradict their own selves. I will be I will be reviewing it because it's going to be funny and it's going to be a terrible show. But anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. I'm sorry I had to do a video like this, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I just saw this and couldn't believe it. And uh, if, if you do like this content, please like and subscribe. It always helps the channel. Check out anything else on my channel and have yourselves a really good day.